Your number five Minnesota State Mavericks are at home today taking on the UMass Minutemen in a Big Ten showdown. UMass trying to become bowl eligible. Minnesota State trying to keep themselves in line for the Big Ten Championship, which is in just a couple of weeks. First quarter here, Thomas for UMass dropping back to pass, and he is taken down for the sack. It's fourth and 16, forced to punt. Minnesota State with the ball now, 3.23 left in the first quarter. Here is Washington dropping back. Has a guy open downfield who gets absolutely clobbered but hangs on for the catch. It's Brandon Scott. Later on, field goal attempt from Chandler is good. Mavericks on the board. It's 3-0. Third down again for the UMass Minutemen. Here is Thomas on the screen pass. Has nowhere to go and is taken down for the sack once again. Another sack given up by the UMass O-line. Washington again over to Henry. First down and a little bit more. Getting inside the red zone and the Minnesota State Mavericks looking like they're ready to score. Washington over to the right side. It's caught by Brandon Scott again for the touchdown. It's now 10-0 in the first quarter. The offense is starting to get their groove on. Third and 22 here for UMass. Thomas again in trouble and taken down for another sack. Fourth and 30 here for the Minutemen. They cannot seem to get their offense going. But this time on the screen pass, it is Scott. First down, Minnesota State. Gain of 12 yards and a first down as the Minnesota State Mavericks looking to continue on their hot streak. Washington dropping back, scrambling to his right. Has nowhere to go. Throws it up for a prayer. And it's going to be almost intercepted, but not quite there. So it's going to be a field goal attempt again from Chandler. From 46 yards, it is good. It is now 13-0 Minnesota State as Thomas dropping back another devastating sack as this offensive line for UMass cannot protect their quarterback as it's now 13-0 and Minnesota State ready to score again underneath the Tolbert and it's going to be incomplete. Washington struggling so far 6 of 16 through the first half so far and it's going to be another field goal attempt here from Chandler. This time he gets another one to go through 3 for 3 on field goals today. He might be player of the game candidate for a kicker. But this time, Thomas dropping back over to the right side, and they actually get some movement on this play for a gain of 15 yards and another first down. Later on on the drive, it is third and 10. UMass looking to try and keep their drive alive as Thomas drops back over to the right side, caught by Evans, but not enough for the first down, clearly. But it's fourth and nine. Minnesota State with the ball back here with 33 seconds to go here. Washington has some time. Throws it deep, and it's an up for grabs catch by Brandon Scott. First and goal. Here's now second and goal. And now Tolbert. That's easy. Touchdown. 23-0. Now we go to the second half here. Thomas has some time. Looks underneath the hall. And gets a first down there. So they're making some slow, steady progress. As long as they can protect the quarterback here, they might turn it around here in the second half. But they got to do that first. Phil McGee on the carry. Gets a first down. But now he's going to be taken down here. Uh, just looks like a minor injury. He looks like he might be in back in the game here shortly. Fourth and nine, though. They're going to go for it. And they're risking it for the biscuit. And they ended up get, not getting it there as they take the sack again. The Mavericks keep tacking it on here as the offense is continuing to do its thing. As Tolbert gets another first down. And the ball keeps moving here as that one goes into the end zone for a touchdown. It's now going to be 30 to nothing for the Minnesota State Mavericks. As this one's like obviously getting out of hand. It looks like uh, this one's going to get out of hand pretty quickly. And later on, second and ten, Thomas drops back, has some time, gets another completion out to Hines, and gets a first down on that one. So they're starting to move the ball here a little bit. Not too much to be had so far, though, for this UMass offense. They still have yet to put some points up on the board. As this time, it's caught by Montoya for a first down inside the red zone, down in fact, inside the ten. So now that looks like they're ready to score here with just under a minute to go here in the third. McGee back in the game, gets a touchdown, and it's now 32-7. Later on, third and 23 here for Minnesota State as Washington drops back, slings one down the field. Wide open is Jonathan Henry. Gain of 28 on the play. And Minnesota State on a third and long gets a first down. Washington drops back over the middle. It's Robinson. Getting inside to the 10-yard line. Not quite a first and goal, but still a first down nonetheless. This time it's second and two here from the two and a half. But Tolbert, he's like, give me that extra half yard. That's a touchdown. It's now 37-7. 
Thomas dropping back again. This time looks left side. It's going to be caught. And the receiver is not being taken down here. It's Lewis down the field being chased down by a couple of Mavericks. Get it inside the five-yard line on a lucky play. He was able to stay on his feet and keep the play going. Later on, it's McGee up the gut. Touchdown, UMass. It's now 34-17. Now it's just under a minute to go here. UMass with the ball here. Fourth and goal. Thomas drops back, has some time, and looks to the corner of the end zone. Caught by Heinz for the touchdown. It's now 34-20. to They're going to go for the two-point conversion, thinking they still have a chance here with just under a minute to go here in the game. Uh, this would get them within two scores. It would be pretty a pretty daunting task, but uh, looks like Minnesota State was able to recover the kick and put a field goal up on the board, making the final score here 40-22. to Minnesota State now 10-1 on the season and looking to try and keep their streak alive next week against Purdue and try and keep themselves in Big Ten championship discussions. The prime contenders for the Big Ten East are Michigan State and Ohio State. So that one's going to get pretty interesting down the stretch. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys like it, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. Until next time, though, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. Drop that like, subscribe if you're new, and peace out.